So people are getting millions of views with stick figure animations, but you haven't started yours yet. Why? If you're putting it off, there's a name for that. Procrastination. Procrastination is often called the thief of time. And as creators, we know how easily it can derail our projects. Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. So how can we apply this wisdom? By breaking tasks into manageable steps, we can take control. Start small, edit just one minute of footage today. Embrace the process and you'll find that each small step leads to progress. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. By consistently taking these steps, we build momentum and turn our creative vision into reality. Keep pushing forward and you'll soon see the results. Let's start by creating a voiceover in Eleven Labs. Of course, you can use your own voice if preferred, but I have found Mark to be a fitting AI voice for this type of video. So, people are getting millions of views with stick figure animations. But you haven't started yet. Why? Once you have completed the recording of the voiceover, it's time to use the free tool called Audacity to make a few changes. I'll leave the download link in the description. With Audacity open, go to File, Import, and import the voiceover file like so. Now the first trick I will show you is a little known retention hack for voiceovers. Press Ctrl A to select the full audio track, then go to Effect, Special, and select Truncate Silence. This tool automatically removes any extended pauses in your recording which is an effective method of increasing retention in YouTube. Let's have it detect any silence below minus 40 decibels with a duration longer than 0.3 seconds. Then minimize that gap to 0.3 of a second. Click apply and you will notice that the overall length of the audio track has shortened. Let's give it a quick preview. So people are getting millions of views with stick figure animations, but you haven't started yours yet. Why? Sounds good. Now let's select the track and open the effects panel again. Under the volume and compression menu, select normalize. Normalizing audio adjusts the volume so the loudest part hits a maximum target level, making the sound consistent without distorting it. Now go to File, Export Audio, and export the track as an MP3 file with the default settings. Open Canva and create a new design. I am using a 16 by 9 video crop, but you can follow along in mobile format if preferred. Upload the truncated audio file and set the duration of the first page to be longer than the length of the audio file. Drag the audio file onto the page like so. Next, open the images library and search for a paper background. Find one you like and place it on the edge of the canvas so it snaps into the background position. Make sure to select one that is subtle and not too distracting you can even decrease the transparency to make it extra low key. Now play the blank video from the very start and stop after the first few words. So people are getting millions of views with stick figure animations. Now press S on your keyboard to split the scene. Do it again. But you haven't started yours yet. You may notice some scenes are very short and others less so. Split the scenes based on changes in the audio's content to keep the visuals engaging and aligned with what you're saying. Let's complete the rest of the composition. Why? If you're putting it off, there's a name for that. Procrastination. Procrastination is often called the thief of time. And as creators, we, we know how easily it can derail our projects. Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. So how can we apply this wisdom? By breaking tasks into manageable steps, we can take control. Start small, edit, edit just one minute of footage today. Embrace the process and you'll find that each small step le leads to progress. By consistently taking these steps, we build momentum and turn our creative vision into reality. And once you've got the hang of it, we can make more adjustments later if required. Now let's start adding our stick figures. 
Open the Elements tab and search for stick figure. As you can see, Canva has a huge selection of stick figures to choose from, performing various actions. And here's a useful hack. Type in at Zidanek Sasek and you will find a large selection of high quality figures from the same artist, which allows us to have a very consistent looking finished product. If you find this information useful, you know what to do. Click the menu from one of the images and select view more from so we can access the search field for that particular artist. Now let's listen to that opening scene again. So people are getting millions of views with stick figure animations. So let's search for something like screen. As you can see, we have a number of illustrations to choose from. You don't need to overthink the selection process. As the image will last a few seconds, so avoid analysis paralysis and just go with the flow. Let's choose this phone image. Now let's press R to create a rectangle to make a thumbnail. Give it a thin border, increase the corner rounding. Let's search for man and select one to place in the thumbnail. Press T and type out fix your life and change the font to a handwritten font like Chewy. Now right click on the top layer and select show element timing. Since the opening scene is slightly longer than the average, it's a good idea to stagger the timing of the layers as the scene plays through. So people are getting millions of views with stick figure animations. Now let's move on to the next scene. But you haven't started yours yet. So let's use search terms like computer sad. Select one you like and place it on the canvas. Make sure to leave a good amount of breathing space around the subject to avoid it looking cluttered. Next scene. Why? So let's search for question. Next scene. If you're putting it off, there's a name for that. So let's search for something like unhappy. And now I will complete the rest of the video before adding some finishing touches at the end. I think I'll put a little Easter egg here for you at the very end. At this point, it's a good idea to go over each scene again and ensure the timing of each scene is tight with the narration. You may also want to include some extra elements from the elements library. The key to this edit is simplicity. By using clear imagery in shortcuts and a high quality script, you should see some excellent results when posting consistently. Now let's preview the finished product. So people are getting millions of views with stick figure animations, but you haven't started yours yet. Why? If you're putting it off, there's a name for that, procrastination. Procrastination is often called the thief of time. And as creators, we know how easily it can derail our projects. Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. So how can we apply this wisdom? By breaking tasks into manageable steps, we can take control. Start small. Edit just one minute of footage today. Embrace the process and you'll find that each small step leads to progress. By consistently taking these steps, we build momentum and turn our creative vision into reality. And once you've got the hang of it, why stop there? Let's take these stick figures even further. Transform them into a dynamic whiteboard animation and add a whole new layer to your storytelling. Check it out here.